Frontex works together with national authorities at maritime borders to make them safer and more secure. Last year, Frontex took part in nearly 19,000 search and rescue operations, saving over 53,000 lives. In a rescue operation, every second counts. This is why the officers regularly practice emergency life-saving techniques and other procedures. Each year, Frontex organises search and rescue workshops. Search and rescue is an obligation for everyone at sea. Each operation is different, each one is dramatic. Cagliari, Rodos, Constanza. Three places where officers from EU countries and Frontex practice their skills during multi-purpose maritime operations. The chess exercise we are playing these days is uh, so-called squalo. Of course, in this exercise, um, all the parties of SARMEDOC agreement are taking part. So, Italy, France, and Spain with relative assets, and uh, Frontex with the assets that are involved in uh, Frontex operations at sea in these days. The scenario of uh, search and rescue situation uh, starts with a phone call, and then uh, the crew members in charge of the daily watch reach the place of work and uh, collect all the information useful to uh, manage the uh, search and rescue operation. So bad weather condition, uh, distance from the coast, uh, uh, the condition of the people to be rescued. Uh. This is the fifth exercise in Greece. It brings all the relevant authorities and stakeholders together in order to promote what they are doing, to share ideas and experience, and to boost our capacity in saving lives, which is of utmost importance. When uh, we received the emergency signal from this uh, incident, immediately more than six assets from Hellenic Coast Guard, from Frontex, and of course from the Hellenic rescue team of Rodos, took immediately uh, the order to proceed and to provide the proper assistance to the migrants. Whenever we have major incidents like this one, we have to be ready to rescue everyone who is in danger at sea. Being on board uh, an offshore patrol vessel, we are uh, used to sail uh, long distances from shore and uh, usually we are uh, the first one to pick up uh, a person in distress and uh, we keep them on board for several days up to the moment that we arrive uh, at the shore. The most uh, significant uh, search and rescue case where I, uh, I've been involved is uh, with a migrant boat when uh, a lady handed me a bag and uh, I realized that uh, it was something very important in that bag and it uh, wasn't just uh, clothes. And uh, when I looked more, more carefully inside, uh, there was a small child of less than uh, three weeks. We can find uh, small children, like uh, two years old, uh, very often, with the, usually with their mother, but uh, they are crying all the time and you have to give extra care uh, to keep them safe. Each time Frontex detects a boat in distress, it immediately takes action, providing the proper response to save lives and alerting the responsible rescue coordination centres. They are the ones who coordinate the involvement of boats or planes available in the area to carry out the search and rescue operation. Frontex contributes to European cooperation on Coast Guard functions, together with the European Fisheries Control Agency and the European Maritime Safety Agency. The cooperation includes border surveillance, search and rescue, fighting cross-border crime, reporting potential marine pollution and supporting fisheries control monitoring. Together with the EU agencies and member states, Frontex focuses on closer cooperation and professional training to help people in distress at sea and to protect the external borders of the EU.